Well, this week on the channel, I'm gonna hang some floating shelves. Specifically, I'm gonna hang the Walniture Bally Metal floating shelves. These are shelves that I've used uh, in a previous house and I'm also using them in this house. I've probably used them for two or three years now. I really like them. I think they're excellent for storing and displaying anything that you collect. So if, if it's a, a CD, if it's a DVD, if it's an Xbox game, or even if it's books, these shelves are pretty good. So in this video, I'm going to review the shelf and then I'm gonna show you how I put them up. If you wanna see either or, or maybe both, stay with me till the end. For now, let's get going. So the Walniture Bali metal floating shelves come in two colors. They come in white and they come in black. You can buy them directly from the Walniture website. I usually buy them from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to see how much they cost. They're made of metal, they're magnetic. The finish is consistent, shiny, and pretty nice. And according to the company, they are 17 inches by six inches by 3.5 inches tall. I found these measurements to be just a little bit off, but pretty close. In the package, you get however many shelves you ordered, and then you also get some metal anchors in case you're mounting them into a hollow wall. You get some steel screws, which have painted white heads, at least for mine they did, because I got white shelves, they're gonna match. They give you a little mini level, which I choose not to use. I use a much longer level, more on that later. And in theory, they give you an instruction manual. I have ordered these three times now. I have yet to see an instruction manual in any of the boxes. I don't know what's going on. I have contacted the company. They did send me a PDF with the instruction manual within about 24 hours of ordering. So that's pretty good service, but I was a little bit let down to not get an instruction manual in the box. Basically these shelves are intended to be for display purposes. I wouldn't put something heavy on these things, particularly if they're uh, not going into studs. This is a big problem with shelving units in general. Everybody knows you should screw your shelves into the studs of the wall. And if you wanna know how to find a stud, I have a video on that. There's a couple of methods, a couple of ways to do it. But the conundrum comes when you find out your studs are 18 inches apart or 24 inches apart, but they're just not in the right spot for the shelf. Everybody runs into this. You wanna put the shelf somewhere, center on the wall or somewhere where they just have to go, but where you need to mount them, there just isn't any framework in the wall behind it to securely mount the shelf. So today in this video, when I mount the shelves, I'm gonna mount them in the hollow part of the wall. That is to say, I'm not gonna mount these right to the studs. I'm only gonna put Xbox games on these shelves. I know that forever, it's only gonna hold Xbox games. I'm not gonna swap it out and put something heavier on there. Generally speaking, the company recommends that you not go past 15 pounds worth of load. And as you can see, the whole shelf, the weight of the shelf, plus the weight of 28 Xbox games, which is what this shelf holds, amounts to 10 pounds. So I'm under, I'm going to go with it. I know this is going to work because I've done it before. In my previous house, I had a bunch of these and they had a bunch of DVDs on them. They didn't move an inch. They were fine going right into the hollow part of the wall, no stud mounting at all. And the, the hardware that the company sent was enough to secure it to the wall for two years. I think that's a pretty good test. Incidentally, the metal anchors they send, they're not the greatest, but they're not the worst either. I really hate those little plastic guys. These are sort of a medium duty anchor. They say they're self-drilling. Uh, in my old house, it worked perfectly in my new house. I'm finding I have to pre-drill. I guess every wall is a little different. So as you can see, they've set up some holes for you. What I really like is that there's four and in giving you four anchors for each shelf, you can really secure this to the wall pretty well. They do make sure to tell you in the instruction manual, if you can mount it to studs, you should. And that's generally good advice. If you can, it's always gonna be the strongest way to secure any shelf to a wall or anything to a wall, generally speaking. And when you do that, the manual recommends not using the anchors, obviously. You can just take the screw and go right into the stud. They put the two widest holes at approximately 16 inches apart. It's a little off, but that generally allows most people to find two studs, one for each side, in a house that has its studs spaced 16 inches apart. It's considerably less convenient for those folks who have studs at 24 inch widths, but what are you gonna do? It's a 17 inch shelf. There's two holes at the base here. They're approximately eight inches apart. So when I mount into the hollow part of the wall, that is to say when I'm putting something really light on the shelf and I don't mind just putting in the anchors into the drywall and letting that do all of the work, I really like it because you got four anchors in there and four screws into those anchors. It holds pretty well. 
And then for me, when I'm setting something up like this, when I'm putting up a bunch of different shelves and they could be a different height, I tend to want to tape it out and just sort of look at it and imagine what it's going to look like when it's done. So I do that. I take some one inch marking tape from my truck, but you could use any tape you want. This just happens to be some tape that I've got that I know is going to stick to the wall. But when I take it off later, it's not going to peel off the paint. It's sort of a paper tape with a very mild adhesive. So I ripped this tape to be the exact dimensions of a shelf with Xbox games on it. So an Xbox game is seven inches high. Each taped marking for the shelf is seven inches high and 17 inches wide. And I just sort of spaced them out and took a look. And once I was happy, I was ready to mount the shelves. So first off, you got to put the shelf up on the wall and sort of put some marks in there. The tape doubles as an excellent place to put your marks. So I lined up the shelf. I put my two foot level on top of the shelf because I find a level that's longer is a level that's more accurate. The level they send is about one inch long and you're supposed to put it in the middle of the shelf as you're trying to level it out. At least it gives you some idea of level. But the problem with a, with a very short level, a longer level is going to be way more accurate. So a two foot level in this case, I'm pretty confident it'll give me a, an accurate reading of whether or not the shelf is level. So I lay that across the top and I just put the shelf up against the tape and I mark off where the holes should be. Then I grab my drill, I pre-drill some holes. The bit I choose is obviously narrower than the anchor itself, considerably narrower. I'd say it's about half the width of the fattest part of the anchor because you don't want to take away all the material. You need some material there for the teeth of the anchor to bite into. And once I've got all the holes in place, I can remove the tape. I don't need that anymore. Then I just get out my screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver. I take the anchor and screw it into the hole. Now I've got four anchors that are in there pretty solid and they're flush with the wall. It looks pretty good. Next step, grab some screws and put up the shelf. So the trick here is to put in the screws only part way. And the reason you want to do that is because you're going to be off a little bit. Almost certainly you'll have put in something a millimeter too high or something a millimeter too low. And the channels in the holes of the shelf allow you a little bit of fudging room. So I get out my level again and once the screws are mostly tight but not totally tight, I put the level on top of the shelf and I just tilt it a little bit. There's a little bit of give because the screws aren't tight. I find the perfect point of level and then I tighten the screws and add some Xbox games. <laughs> I don't know why I'm adding the games as I go. It just seems like fun. And I just keep working my way down the wall, one shelf, two shelves, three shelves, and then finally a fourth shelf and I'm done. And I think they look awesome. The reason you pick a floating shelf is because it sort of disappears. And when you're trying to display something that you really like, like for me, it's these Xbox games. For you, it might be something else. These shelves do a really good job of showing it to you. They're perfect for video games. They're perfect for DVDs. They're perfect for CDs. And a lot of people use these for books too. If you're gonna put books on this, as I mentioned before, the company puts a limit of about 15 pounds on these shelves. So anything heavier than that, you wanna find the studs. And hey, like if you can find the studs anyway, it's gonna be stronger. So not a bad idea to do it. But like I say, there are times in life when you just can't, and that's what anchors are for. You know, the anchors that they send are not bad. They're actually pretty good. In fact, in my previous house, I was able to remove the anchors as I removed the shelves, keep them with the shelves, bring them to my new house and reuse them. They live that long. But as I mentioned before, every wall is a little different. Obviously they can be made of different things. They can be different densities. They can be different ages. And that can lead to a need for a different anchor. Just something to keep in mind. And there you have it. Some floating shelves for my Xbox collection. Thanks for staying with me right to the end. I really appreciate that. And if there's any way you could like or subscribe, I would also really appreciate that. But otherwise, until next week, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.